Hey guys, Matt Bell here at the Electric Violin Shop in beautiful Durham, North Carolina. Today we're going to be talking about effects and why you might actually need some effects even though you think you don't, okay? One of the questions that we get from people a lot like, hey, I don't think I need to use any effects, do I? What is an effect? An effect is anything that electrically manipulates your signal from the time it leaves your violin until it reaches the listener's ears. And we don't just mean like the whiz bang, the really obvious stuff like distortion and synths and phasers and filters and stuff that's like, sounds like a spaceship landing out there, right? Maybe you just want to sound like a violin. And do I need effects for that? I've got a pickup on my instrument. I'll just plug it in, right? Well, pickups and even mics are not magic. They may need a little help to sound the way you want them to sound to your audience. The first effect I want to talk about, and it's one that a lot of times we don't even think of as an effect, is EQ. And what does EQ do? It changes the timbre of your sound. And I've got a thing here that says axes versus scalpels. We may make some large sweeping changes to our tone. We make, may make some very uh, precise changes to our tone. And it depends on the context. It depends on what our pickup sounds like. It depends on the room. It's all that. We can make large scale tonal changes or very small ones. I'm gonna let you hear a couple of examples of a, a YEV electric violin with no EQ on it all. We'll call that a flat EQ. And then we're cutting at three different frequencies and you'll hear that on the screen. <laughs> See, we're actually able to make some fairly dramatic, oop, why is this on here? Ah, we're able to make some fairly dramatic changes to our tone just with EQ. We can make that instrument sound thinner, we can make it sound warmer, we can make it sound a little more balanced. And those are things that are kind of subtle, but you may want to be able to do that with your tone. So that's EQ. Uh, the next thing we're gonna talk about is reverb. Reverb makes it sound like you are in a room. And let me say the human ear really appreciates sounding, it feeling like there's something around you. When you're outdoors, that sound can be very, very dry. It only goes past you one time. It can feel a little um, not at home, if that makes sense. Your, your ears really want to hear some reverb and you'll find out that with a violin, boy, do they sound a whole lot better with some reverb on them. And we can do this fairly subtly to where you don't really notice a whole lot that it's there, or it can be like, wow, this guy's playing in a concert hall or a cathedral. And, and then of course, all types of things in between. So I want you to hear a couple of examples here of reverb. So you can see it just sort of really puts a little space around the violin. And if you're outdoors, you may want to go a little more subtle with it. So it's like, oh, it's not like he's playing in a well. Uh, if you're indoors in a fairly dry room, you may want to add quite a bit of reverb to it so that it, it does sound like that room's got some more, uh, some better acoustics to it, okay? The next thing we'll talk about is delay. What is delay? It's like echo, like when you stand at the edge of a canyon and you go, hello, hello, hello right? That's what delay is. Uh, it can be fairly subtle. It can also be a little more obvious. Um, it actually, when you use a short delay, it has an effect a lot like a reverb. 
Uh, if you use a longer delay, it can thicken up some long notes and it may give you some, uh, some more sort of harmony sound if you're in a, a string quartet or something. It may give you a little bit bigger sound uh, on some other passages. So I, I do want you to hear a couple examples of delay here. So obviously that last one is something that's a, probably a little more obvious than you really want if you're if you're trying to stay with a very violin-y sound. But um, it does show you what you can do with a delay. It does fatten up your sound quite a bit, especially if you're playing a lot of long tones. The next thing we're gonna talk about are impulse responses. And there's really two types of impulse responses that are important in this context. One is an instrument body and one is a speaker cabinet. I'm actually gonna play these backwards for you. Um, what it does is it makes your violin sound like either it's coming through a speaker cabinet or it's coming through an instrument body. And I think you'll hear what I mean uh, when, when we demonstrate. So I think you can hear that speaker cab sort of does tame the sound of the electric violin a lot. And then of course the violin body IR really makes it sound like, oh my goodness, that does sound like an acoustic violin. Uh, so maybe those are some effects that you would be interested in, even if you're thinking, gosh, I don't really want effects. Those uh, certainly do make a big difference in the sound of your instrument. Now the next one, you know, believe it or not, distortion and overdrive, and you're thinking, no, I don't want to sound like an electric guitar. When we turn distortion or overdrive up quite a bit, yes, you do that, get that really crunchy, more of a rock and roll electric violins, electric guitar sound. If you turn the, the gain or the distortion way down, you can actually add some depth, some fatness and some warmth. And uh, I want you to hear these examples. I think you'd be surprised. sudden that sort of thin and bright YEV sound starts to get a little warmer and uh, rounder sounding, right? It's a question we get from a lot of people. How do I make my YEV sound rounder and warmer? Uh, surprisingly enough, it may actually be just with a touch of overdrive. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you. Just sort of a basic overview of some effects that you might want, even if you don't think you want effects. Okay. So, uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. There it is over here. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out, check out some other videos we have and we will see you next time.